here on KAKU 88.5 FM, The Voice of Maui. Please join me and my incredible guests every Wednesday at 2 p.m. for fun and informative conversation. Sexuality, family, pop culture, music, social causes. We talk about it all with a fresh and forward thinking twist. The Maui Zan Show, 88.5 FM, The Voice of Maui. Trying to evolve. Konnichiwa. I'm Arithmia Sweet. I'm Matt Angst, host of 2KG. KAKU is a listener supported station. All of the shows you hear, like ours, are sponsored by you, the listener, as well as our underwriters. If you would like to help keep the voice of Maui talking loud and clear, go to kakufm.org slash donate today and give. And don't miss 2KG, Mondays live at 3 p.m. on KAKU 88.5 FM, the, the voice, voice of Maui. Maui. Anya! Maui's free speech station, KAKU 88.5 FM, Kahului Maui, the voice of Maui. It's Monday at 11 a.m., and here we are in the neutral zone. Welcome to our show. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of wealth and taste. I've been around for a long, long year. So many men sold away. And I was around when Jesus Christ had his moment of doubt and pain. Be damn sure that Pilate washed his hands and sealed his face. Good morning, everyone. Aloha. This is Jason Schwartz. This is the Neutral Zone. Uh, happy to have you all with us. We have a really fun guest today. Fun because, you know, when you, you meet someone who has a spectrum of knowledge that is broad and, um, you know, has been really a student of life for a long time and uh, all kind of things, you say, wow, I, I had a spot in the schedule and I... My guest, you know, I like to keep this fresh so we don't, like, book people way long in advance. And someone couldn't make it, and I asked a neighbor, who's someone interesting that I might get? And he said, Sasha Lesson. Welcome to our show. Thank you. Ah, what a great voice. Sasha has his own show. What's your, uh, the name of your show? How do uh, people find Sacred, um, Sacred Matrix. Uh, it's on uh, Revolution Radio. And is it findable on the internet? Yeah, not? it's on the internet. It's it's all over. We have uh, hundreds of thousands of people that listen to. We have uh, uh, other shows too, but they're all on Revolution Radio nowadays. Wow, I, I think everyone wants to know more about that. That's a wonderful thing to hear about. Yeah, we uh, we we interview. Uh, one of, well, I have several fields, but we interview all the people having uh, extraterrestrial uh, a contact or interdimensional contact. I'm a hypnotist too. And, uh, and we also deal with my specialty. I was interested to hear that you're you're playing uh, uh, sympathy for the devil, and uh, that's back off a little bit, yeah. back front and talk. Let's you now let's hear how it is because it's being controlled. If you need to hear a different volume, you can tell me on your headphone. Understood. So I'm just trying to get uh, right with things. Okay, let me hear you. Uh, sympathy. You know, this show when I was thinking of a theme song. I had a show on TV for a long time here, and Lono wrote a song called Maui Stylin'. And then over the years, things have changed, and then I'm coming back in a new incarnation. I thought about doing another of Lono's song, but building up for something that's happening with art and music. And I said, well, I went to the college, and at the college there, I had a Joel Katz, who's a great guitar player and singer. Anyway, um, had a class, and in that class, the students were putting together a thing on tape, and this kid wanted to play, and they wanted to do Sympathy for the Devil. So this is students from school playing. Sounds like, you know, uh, it's not, but... 
And then they asked me to be the lead vocal. So that was me singing lead vocal. Wow. And then I switched to Then I Do, which is a great song by Lono, which is a love song. And then I switched to Unlock the Hope, which is another Lono song. And so my whole thing is we're the Maui Arts and Music Association. They're our sponsor, in fact, our underwriter at the moment. And uh, that's basically me and others, but we're looking for new songs, new input from people, and I was just giving some examples. Because, <laughs> um, anyway, that's a whole other subject. Um, sympathy for the Devil. You are um, a great... As, let me give you a background. I know you probably... Hmm, I've been here 30 years. I think I know you 29 years, something like that. I had a girlfriend at the time named Celeste, and Celeste said to me, you have to meet uh, the lessons and Sasha and uh, Joan at the time and um, I went and I had a great experience with holographic breathing and um, learning new things and fields and I was you know work uh, uh, journey work for a long time theogenic journey meaning psychedelics man okay and next uh, uh, <laughs> and uh, I, for, I was for many years with uh, Hal and Sidra Stone, and so I do centering, and I uh, am certified by Roger Wilger uh, in past life and Jungian psychology, and uh, I've, uh, I've, uh, I was uh, Charles Muir's partner in teaching a very, very advanced uh, Tantra. I realized Tantra was too uh, limited, and it was just second chakra uh, Tantra, and so I developed my own Tantra, which is called All um, Chakra Tantra. I'm also a, a uh, Vinny Yoga instructor. I'm personally trained by Gary Craftso, the master himself. And, uh, but, you know, I do lots of stuff. I so let, let me guess. <laughs> you know, we can have, a, by the way, 808 873 3435 is our calling line here at KAKU. I'm with Dr. Sasha Lesson. But now, what you're hearing is a background that is full, but what you were just talking about triggered me to say, you are and have learned from masters because as these things have been opening you know the people that we have as friends and in common are of master level then many have trained you and in, in different things but you've been blessed with living on Maui and being able to not only receive but give for so many years in so many ways sacred matrix how, what's the name of the show again? Yeah, that's a Sacred Matrix, is, is, is and the other one is uh, we have another show called Divine Paradigm, and this is on Revolution Revolution Radio Revolution dot So you, you guys check that out. In general, that's a great thing. You know, I don't know if you realize this camera over here is Facebook Live. You know, and so is this one. That's me and you, and uh, you know when we're going to do these shows. I've got like thirty something shows, including this. So as we're talking about things. Uh, later, we're going to, you know how you have a B-roll. When we do TV, we're going to be filling in as appropriate so we can show some of the things cool. and reference things. Just realize that. Um, some people uh, think this is only radio. To me, this is a beginning where we're doing radio. And then here locally, the television seems to catch everyone's attention. So by having these shows on TV and supplementing it with more visual, we'll then be also doing TV shows, so I'm sure we'll be doing stuff out in the field. Really cool. So, and tying together, you know, the Maui Arts and Music Association is a an umbrella. So when I hear what you're doing, to me that's like, I use the word matrix often. I didn't know you did. Isn't that funny? Because it's a matter of an awareness of your position in the matrix and your role in that. I mean, I... To me, that is so powerful because when people understand and suddenly it clicks, the power of all of us aligned to do things is just a fantastic thing. And so the sacred matrix, I'm sure you get into. What kind of, I, I'm off in so many subjects. I should probably, we were talking about um, your doctorate. I, I was interested when I found out about you, someone said you were a doctor of something to do with and i guess that's anthropology that's which right is fiji and women-led cultures and that, that's part of it but what i was trying to uh, say in the very beginning when i was relating to um sympathy for the devil oh. is that uh, one of my uh, major works for the last 20 years has been uh 
uh, with the ancient Sumerian uh, accounts on which the Bible, many, many years after the accounts were written, was based. And so I have a lot to say about uh, Satan, who was actually Prince Marduk from the uh, planet Nibiru, uh, uh, the son of Lucifer, as he's called in the Bible, who was uh, really, uh, his, his uh, Sumerian name is Enki, uh, Lord of the Earth. and. Uh, uh, so, uh, Marduk uh, is, has caused an awful lot of trouble, his basic uh, strategy, since the nuking of Sodom and Gomorrah and Sinai in 2025 BCE. Since that time, uh, he has basically been in charge of the earth, and he claims to be all his, his rivals as well. So he says, you know, I'm Allah, and I'm Yahweh, and, I'm, and he pits the different nationalities, different religions, uh, different... Uh, uh, trading groups against each other, but he's on top of this whole uh, mess of Illuminati that's been uh, so controlling all, uh, all of the world. And uh, recently, the Galactic Federation has uh, sent their representatives and uh, they, it's time to knock it off. Prince Marduk Satan says he's sorry for all the pain he's inflicted and he's going to cooperate in bringing in the Age of Aquarius, or Enki as he is called. And uh, it's, it's all very interesting. Of course, there's other accounts, and that's just uh, one of the many. But it's sure interesting what, what uh, the devil has become. Well, you know, um, it, now that's interesting how you tied that back all to that original song. As you can see, that's why I guess this guy said, we should, you should talk to Sasha. He's interesting, because we could talk a whole hour on that, I'm sure. Uh, you imagine... Uh, as this information has come to you from many I, sources, yeah. I understand, uh, it only triggers in me awareness of the uh, Urantia book. Is that part oh, of Oh, absolutely. The Urantia book has got a huge amount of information. Oh, it's yeah. of great value. Uh, what uh, a scholar like me does is you read all the accounts, and you see what elements are similar and which ones are, are disparate, and you can figure out when they've been added and what the bias uh, has been of the editions, for example, um, the Christian Bibles, all these different layers uh, when different people revised it, and you can sell, tell who was a revisionist and when it happened by little things in the language and so forth. But we go back to, we're talking about events that were recorded by people. They, they, they said these events were 450,000 years ago. The Bible was only written some uh, few thousand years ago when Nebuchadnezzar uh, took the Israeli captives back to Babylon and Haran in Turkey. And, and that's and these, are, these are people that they're trying to... Uh, Yahweh's temple had been, Enlil's temple had been destroyed, and they were trying to figure out how to write something where they were going to be binding all the Anunnaki, that is the people from Nibiru who had been lording over them, uh, uh, into one uh, person, but it was impossible, and so you get all this thing in the that Bible. That pop happens because you're a little too close. I'll move back. No, you're good, but just realize, about that much. Okay. Or if you're going to pop them, just right over it. Okay. That's all. All right. No, you're good. You can get closer. Okay. But just in other words, not like this, because then. Okay. Uh, thank you. Okay. Um, because your story, as I'm listening, I'm thinking, our audience. We're here with uh, Sasha Lesson talking about everything, but uh, this is almost like an encyclopedic outline. You, you're That's right. a, a wealth of knowledge. Remember Manly Hall? That's why I had mm -hmm. my first exposure to new, before I even came to Maui. And then I got here and I found all those modalities have come through or are here in Maui. You and bet. When I came, I was here in 88. Were you here then already? Oh, I was, I was here for a long time by then, yeah. So um, I got exposed to these modalities through teachers like yourself and yourself early on and then i you know and my partner is ariel and oh, ariel is yeah. like uh also um someone who's outside a conventional box you know and how old are you i don't mean to be i'm funny. 78 and i, I don't get, and I, i'm happy to be 78 it's the best year i've ever had oh you know you are an amazing guy 78 years old I mean, I, I think it's every day that you ride from Waiahu, I basically in the mountain, down and all the way to Baldwin Beach, yeah. and back and have a life in there besides, <laughs> and a perfect, literally picture of health, uh, mostly natural, all natural. 
Oh, uh, except for the psychedelics, of course. Oh, that's natural, isn't it? <laughs> Some are. Sure, sure, most are, yeah. So, uh, psychedelics. You call what do you call psychedelics? You mentioned? and theogens because they help you change your theology and get you above the matrix, and you can see that you, that the limited amount of uh, frequencies that you take in are but a small part of what's available. Everything is available because the universe is holographic, and we have the fractals of everything and everyone within us, just as we are within everything and everyone. And that's why your Maui organization can affect the morphogenic field, not just of Maui, or not just of this planet, but of the universe, because we're all in the same mind of the creative uh, creator of all. So well, you know, it's really interesting that you used to talk about sacred matrix, and you just talk about that this thing from Maui can be all over the world and affects everything. I always had this vision, or since... Of a light switch turning on, all the lights going on when everyone kind of sees that vision and it clicks. So I'm optimistic about our future. I don't know how the yeah. planet thinks about it in the future, but I'm optimistic with the potential. The potential is there for incredible things right it, it is we can all reach out to each other because there's a common ground of all humanity and that's the love we find the ability to empathize that's why what our creators the Anunnaki people from Nibiru lacked and they prayed and hoped that we would do better that we because homo erectus the uh, hybrids that they used uh, to uh, make their genome work on earth were telepathic and empathetic and if only we could care about each other and stop murdering each other and stop doing wars we could have some of what bigfoot has big, big uh, the, uh, erectus is the ancestor of bigfoot is still with us i know a lot of this is not within the matrix that you're used to hearing but listen i've studied a lot and you know occam's razor if what i'm saying cuts the information easier for you to uh, uh, digest it then Occam's razor is the best hypothesis we can have now and it's just temporary every kind of thing that we think is just a bunch of words which is parsing the greater reality that's there so that our little minds can uh, deal with it but if we go beyond what our intellect thinks and beyond the words and that's what entheogens do for you uh, you can do the same thing with meditation or holotropic breath work or lots of other uh, uh, being in nature too but you know good uh, LSD uh, will get you there quick in, in the right circumstances. I probably shouldn't say it on the radio. No, I, interesting, you know, as you were talking, when you mentioned holotropic breathwork, my feeling was, so I was on a really good path there long ago in understanding the power of a universe in a... I mean, it comes back to that Matrix again. I don't know how that, that movie has gotten people... Oh, you out there, you know, Matrix and Keanu Reeves, those movies have given people some orientation to what a Matrix is and what this is all about. I think that's fantastic. I'm sure you can appreciate uh, absolutely. that. Absolutely. Anything, any, any recurrent uh, behavior that creates a system... Uh, has certain kinds of things flowing through it and if you can see the whole system you can rise above it and you could and you start with the system of yourself if you contemplate yourself and then think about the part of you that contemplates yourself and then think about the part that contemplates the part that contemplates and so forth you reach what we call epoche you identify with the man the mind of the creator of all where everything is just there in potential it's just into it and it's Leela or divine play that makes us all but we're all part of everything and there isn't any other it's just a perceptual device of our intellect so that we can handle it if you know what I mean you know I, I can see when you, you guys if you don't go to sacred matrix on the revolution radio you're gonna miss because, like I said, encyclopedic outline. I'm sure on your shows, you take some of these. So, you know, he runs by names, just Prince Marmaduke. Prince? Yeah, Prince. Marmaduke? Marduke. Oh, Marduke. See, I'm, he, he's I'm also, comic yeah. book eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, these are subjects I, I hope that we are exploring. So uh, my neighbor was right. You're, you're interesting, and you, well, could and do share this so i hope our audience oh, is I got, now introduced to you it's thank you i'd like to say something about your neighbor his name is ron fogel oh, yeah. and this I, I used to be a head of counseling for the waikiki drug clinic and i'm telling you ron has saved more lives uh there was a gang in moeli ely they were um 
the kids. They were burglarizing all these places, and they were they were taking uh, second all reds and uh, killing themselves and everything. And Ron, you know, braved the most incredible gang situation, and he got all these kids to stop burglarizing. And uh, the crime went down in Moeli Ely, and he's been the head of all these programs. I mean, he goes to, now he w works with poor people here in Maui. He washes the feet of drunk people. I want to tribute Ron Fogel. He's a great man. Well, you know, thank you for saying that. He's going to be our guest again. He was on our show already once, oh. and I thought he was uh, also a, someone who gives an amazing giving, loving, and knowledgeable about this whole system. There are things happening that, again, we could go off into restorative justice issues. There's so many things that our world has, and I'm sure... If we just tape our conversation, it sounds like we'd be on radio a while, <laughs> which that may be fun. Um, we still have some time. Um, as you're talking about, this, what is the most important thing or one of the things you want to really let our audience okay, know? It, the, the common ground of all you, of, of, for everybody and everything is love or empathy. That's the basic teaching of, of Jesus, unconditional love for everything and everybody. What that means is that you can empathize with them. Go underneath what you and they want and say, why do you want that? You know, let, one of the interesting cases is, is the Munich terrorists that killed the Israeli athletes. 1972. Yeah. Right. Okay, so there was late follow-up studies. Those guys later on got married, got jobs, had kids, and stopped being terrorists. So, <laughs> love, married, kids, something valuable to do. That's what it takes, and we can reach that common ground. Whenever you're talking to someone that you, you, you feel estranged from, say, what is the common ground? What do you love? Tell me about your job. Tell me about your dog. Tell me whatever is interesting to you. We can reach it by reaching that common ground. Once that happens, we can empathize with each other, see the world from the other person's eyes, and then we can find what to do. I'm trained by Carl Rogers and others. I and the people we've been trained by uh, all know how to sit with opposed people and get them to feel each other. When Menahem uh, Bagin, uh, Anwar Sadat, and Jimmy Carter were sitting around at Camp David and they were about to fail, they said, hey, we ain't got no peace accord. And they, these guys got to know each other. Their grandfathers, they were all crying. What kind of world are we leaving them? Well, Sadat said, you know, they're probably going to kill me for this back home, but I'm going to sign the peace treaty. To this day, there's peace between Egypt and Israel because these three grandfathers felt the love and that's what we can do that's what we can do you can imagine the people that you're opposed to or that your ethnic group is opposed to and look in their eyes and you can have an apology ceremony i was named alexander and i when i say grew up i found it alexander the great what the great killer i don't want to be a killer so what i did is i asked all those the souls of all those whose ancestors were killed by alexander uh, to forgive me and give me back the pieces of my soul that my ancestors took and uh, do likewise. And you picture everybody that way and you have a forgiveness ceremony. Marianne Williamson did this in mass. You know, we should do, Howley should do that with the Hawaiians. We should hold their hands and say, we are so sorry about what happened. Will you forgive us and can we live now? That's what I think we should do. And you should do that same with your own subpersonalities. You know, whatever you don't really like about yourself, um, that's what you won't like in others. And so when someone else is bugging you, all you got to do is say, how is that resonating with me? If that person's so angry, do I have an angry part of me that I can't stand seeing expressed? Otherwise, you won't give a damn if someone else is angry or not. You got it. Find the needs underneath. They're pan-human, and we all need love, attention, affection. You got it. You know, I, I'm enjoying it. We're here with uh, Dr. Sasha Lesson. Um, this is uh, Jason Schwartz at 88.5 FM KAKU. Uh, you know, that I am so, and you know, you say it in your way, I feel that same thing. I, I also boil my world down to love. And then you explained it and expanded it out. I hope our audience, you, you can listen to a replay of this. A lot of what you've said, you know, at MauiNeutralZone.com and Facebook Live and your own radio, I think that's really great that you have. You have an internet radio show with all kinds of listeners, and um, you were talking about the inter, interterrestrial. Oh, yeah. You know, it, 
people have, uh, the government, of course, has for a long time denied the reality, but people have been abducted. People have voluntarily uh, gone on board craft. We have vast ex uh, experience in contact with extraterrestrials. Our government has contracts with them. The other governments have. We have a space flight that, that you're not being told about. All this nonsense from NASA, never a straight answer, uh, is not the real space fleet. I, my wife and I have interviewed many, many super soldiers, people that are drafted or kidnapped and they have to serve term 20 years and back they have to we have time travel uh, listen you have been, you're living in a dream world I'm telling you when you understand and look at the evidence as we have by the uh, information freedom acts uh, there's been massive flyovers over Mexico City uh, Valiant Thor was in the White House uh, as, as, a, as a guest uh, of the president and you know it, it's the truth is coming out. Just uh, take a look at my, my website on, on Facebook or any of the many. What web is your website at? Uh, my website is called EnkiSpeaks.com. E-N-K-I-S-P-A-K-S e -E dot C-O-M. And uh, we've got lots of stuff there, but I have, I have lots of different groups on uh, uh, Facebook. I have uh, Tantra groups, polyamory groups. Yes, that's me. And uh, lots of anthropology groups, and especially uh, extraterrestrial, intraterrestrial in, uh, contact. You know, there's a, a, a whole world underneath the earth. There's a civilization uh, called the Gartha, headed by the, uh, the Bodlanders. Uh, this is probably uh, dropping too much on you all at oh, once. Well, well, we're gonna, that's good because we're going to take a break. And again, it's nice that this is recorded. They can come back and use this as a guide. Um, I'm here with uh, Sasha Lesson. We're going to take a break for our wonderful underwriters. One of them is us, and we'll talk about that. But we've had really a blessing. We're happy to be here with you. Hang on, and we will be back. Hang on. The Neutral Zone, with me, Jason Schwartz, would like to thank Maui Arts and Music Association, Tree Makers Foundation of Maui, for their support. Since 1991, with hundreds of television shows and their MauiArtsAndMusic.com website, they have championed self-sustainability on Maui. The Neutral Zone is heard live Mondays at 11 a.m. and replayed Saturday at 7 a.m. on KAKU 88.5 FM, the voice of Maui. Hawaii Youth Service Directory is online at 808youth.com. We envision a Hawaii where all youth are connected to the support they need to walk a pono path towards health, happiness, and abundance. 808youth.com is a free, easy to use online directory funded by the Office of Youth Services. If you're looking for a family-friendly event, check out our events calendar and connect with us on social media. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. KAKU 88.5 FM is your Maui community station. The Voice of Maui features great local programming from people like Soy Miriam Laraway y te invito a que me acompañes cada viernes a escuchar un programa lleno de diversión, entretenimiento y mucha información. Conexión Latina 88.5 FM Latino Connection Fridays at noon KAKU 88.5 the voice of Maui. Hi, I'm Bodie B, host of Death Tracks. KEKU is a listener supported station. All of the shows you hear, like mine, are sponsored by you, the listener, as well as our underwriters. If you would like to help keep the voice of Maui talking loud and clear, go to kakufm.org slash donate today and join me for Death Tracks every Tuesday live at 2 p.m. Man, do I love card night. You ready, boys? You got a king? Go, fish that! Oh, come on! <laughs> this is WWE superstar Titus O'Neil. It only takes a moment to make a moment. Take time to be a dad today. Learn more at 877-4DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Aloha, we are back. I'm here with Dr. Sasha Lesson. I'm Jason Schwartz in the neutral zone. It's anything but neutral. While we were at break, we had a visitor, 
uh, I'm not a visitor from outer space, out of our space. And uh, he was talking about uh, sonic booms underground. You were talking about underground. Um, what were you talking about? Let's start with that. Okay, well, th there's a vast civilization underground. Uh, uh, it's starting from, you know, the refugees from uh, Atlantis, Aturia. Uh, I went underground, but way before that, in uh, 1547, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, Polish uh, king, Sebastian, sent uh, 200 German uh, soldiers and their wives and their kids and uh, supplies to be on the uh, Brazil side uh, facing the Venezuelans on the uh, on the other side, and what happened uh, was the Indians burned their ships, and they took shelter in this tunnel, and they found there was bioluminescent uh, lichens that were giving them air, and there was water under it, and it was warm, and they started making tunnels and finding the tunnels. He had other tunnels, and they found other civilizations there, and cities were built, and finally, after generations and generations, they reached the South Pole, and they broke into this vast a higher civilization of really big guys called the Bodlanders and they were speaking ancient German and then there's there was a Norwegian uh, sailor that that he and his dad got swept in on the North Pole and after many years being guests of the Bodlanders uh, came out in the on the South Pole the evidence is overwhelming and then of course the Germans uh, uh, the SS and their uh, Ukrainian uh, slave wives uh, took shelter and the Bodlanders let them come there and then because of Operation uh, a uh, uh, paperclip, uh, Alan Dulles, who was a Nazi sympathizer, let all the Nazis who had been killing people and torturing people uh, 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 take over the United States and the intelligence agencies. Von Braun was one of those, and 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 so we and then uh, Admiral Byrd lost the Battle of uh, the Weddell Sea in 1947. The Germans really won, and then they got this deal with Dulles, so they took over the government. And uh, Kennedy, uh, well, first of all, Eisenhower was was really trying to warn us. Kennedy tried to go around the uh, uh, the the Nazis who had taken over with his uh, information agency, but the CIA and Dulles won. Of course, they got uh, in a, in a uh, joining uh, Johnson got rid of um, Kennedy's. But what we we have is uh, uh, this uh, Germans system, and uh, basically are, are have led the the the. Uh, outer space race. They got there first. They had their bases on the moon and Mars way before we did. Uh, but I digress. One thing I do want to say that both with the uh, Agartha ambassadors that come here and also the uh, uh, the extraterrestrials, it's got a bad name that it, you're being abducted. Usually people uh, if it's not a military abduction, if it's really an extraterrestrial abduction, people want ultimately to help to be ambassadors. We've got all these scientific studies by Ray Hernandez and others that show overwhelmingly contact with extraterrestrials is positive. People get better by it. Uh, there are hybridization programs. The hybrids are brilliant uh, children that are t able to tune into uh, each each other in a way that uh, a lot of us can't. You can just see. You just there's a lot that we know about extraterrestrial contact. Most of the extraterrestrials are humanoid of some kind, like us. There are the Greys, which are ultimately uh, part of the Lyrans who f fled the Dracos, and there are Dracos. Some on each side. Some are hostile to us, and some that aren't. But overall, extraterrestrials care about us, and the contact is positive. They want us to succeed. Oh, so I'm just only stopping you because. First of all, <laughs> thank you for sharing this. I mean, I I think I want to now take what you just said, and you, they it's positive. They want us to succeed. That's right. I want to be able to take all that you said, direct people. I'm sure they're going to be wanting to go to Sacred Matrix and hear more of you and share with you, and probably this is a hopefully good doorway. Thank you. You know, for you to really be exposed to people that might not have otherwise heard about you or know about you in the way that you're able to tie so many things together because of the way you have shared and plugged into the matrix. Your choice from being a kid with a name to a direction to studying about systems and cultures and coming up with things and commonalities we had a guest here a couple of weeks ago. Did you ever meet a guy named Paul Gotell? 
Mm -mm. Maybe not. Paul is uh, someone very interesting. And in his book, he has a book called The Big You, he thanked Joan. Joan is your ex, and you have a, a beautiful, wonderful wife now, Janet. But Joan, who's... Uh, uh, so it's interesting, because common ideas and things that are right come together in a matrix. And you've plugged in, and it seems that I do it with art and music. That's what this Maui Arts and Music thing's all about, and the matrix of it and how it can be. So when we make, when you guys see and feel and see how it's all fitting together, and technologies that we're introducing with hydrogen and HHO and health changes and taking water and being able to create power and all kinds of things that are so they're not fantastic. They're somehow an alignment. I mean, you're talking about things I may not identify that that idea came from a insight from that came to here, but... The military a, has all these things right now. They have uh, time travel. They, have, uh, they don't have to burn fuels. They have uh, anti-grav craft uh, and, uh, and lots of medical things. They can put arms back on and all kinds of things, but they keep this from the general population because they think if they can uh, just keep their soldiers in better shape than the other soldiers. The military mind has got a thing which is keeping uh, stuff that could make everybody's life easier from us, but we know how to do it. When you have a patent uh, that works, the military will throw you in jail and uh, and lock up your patent and say it's for national security. Um, it, it, you know, it, is it re is it endangering your security if other people are healthy? No, it's time to ha disclose the information we have and let the extraterrestrials help us and let us help ourselves. Well, you know, I um, I hear that, and I I hear a great high. I want to say higher wisdom, a great wisdom in what you're sharing. I want to boil it back down now. We we're on local Maui, and you're the guy that um, here locally. You see, oh, you know, I see you riding a bicycle, <laughs> and I see you taking long distance healthy things and enjoying this wonderful environment and being a great example in health and all the things that... So you're really, I want to say, a clear channel. You have a lot of information from many different things that you've been assimilating and really a, a leader in uh, thought, information, sharing, giving. Thank you. So uh, thank you for all you've done all these years and will continue to do. And I guess in many ways, a lot of what I've learned has really, when I say crossed, I mentioned about my partner, Ariel. I've been also blessed in having years of different things. We have lots of friends. Ron's a friend of mine, Ron Fogel, and Dr. Ed Elkin, who's up there. And, uh, cool. There's great people like Dr. Michael Howden. Do you know Michael Howden? I met? Uh -huh, yeah. So there are great things that people... You know, what's, what's interesting is politically... Now we've seen a shift in our society here in theory that the women have now. So I'm curious on your head on how uh, women-led societies and where we're going and what you see. And okay, yeah. I, I, I'd love to, uh, uh, to do this. Uh, you know, we have this pat patriarchal bias from uh, uh, our makers. Uh -huh. But the person that, uh, that really made... Uh, the uh, Anunnaki not destroy them, uh, each other was the sister. Her name was Nima. She's also known as Sekhmet in um, e Egypt. When uh, Nima, after the uh, bombing of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah and, and Sinai, uh, she uh, went to central Anatolia and there in the age of the goddess in with uh, the old Minoan civilization of which she was the head, there was peace there was trading. There were no slaves. Um, the women had high positions, and it was only when the Mycenaeans, uh, they, who basically were led by Zeus, who was one of the, which is one of the names of Prince Marduk, uh, started so, overthrowing the the women's way. Then the peace was uh, was gone. Then the wall, the villages were walled in Central Europe. Then there was caches of arms. Then women lost their position. But women uh, were once. Uh, showed us what a peaceful society, but a peaceful world could be like under Nimmah, the goddess. Well, that 
That is the most important piece. I'm just digesting. You threw in a lot of names, and sometimes as someone's listening, I wonder if they're hearing through the shroud to that message, which is... There's Women have example. oxytocin. They feel each other. They have the chemical basis for empathy that a lot of us dudes with plenty of testosterone sometimes forget. But we're both, and so are they. So, so here we are. That's why I'm bringing it up. As a general, you know, as a student of civilizations and cultures, and having lived here all these years, you've lived in a, uh, the regime here, which had a very different style than we are seeing now, we are hearing now, and how it integrates and how they integrate. We now have a, a different lead posture that's more environmentally sensitive and holistic as we've gotten deeper into problems. And so now with this new leadership, I'm wondering how you have seen from what you're seeing and experiencing locally, how the shift is and what you'd like to think are directions things can go from here. Um, okay, uh, I, I like uh, Ocasio-Cortez. Uh, One sec. I'm thinking about Kelly King and Tom Oh, Kama yeah, yeah. And Yuki Lake. Because so, here we have a council. So I'm bringing, I'm saying, okay, say that name again you just gave me. Corta uh, Ocasio-Cortez, Alexandra. She is the hope of America. She oh, is a hope for uh, okay. for the world. <laughs> okay. okay, first of all, you keep popping. I'm not hearing you. You know, you don't have to be far away, but just when you're closing your eyes, you're going in. And jumping in here. Oh, my gosh. So I'm just saying, you're just about here, and as you're doing it, all right? So you were giving a first name, and that's a new name to me, Ocasio, right? Yeah, uh, her <laughs> first name is Alexandra, and then her second name is hyphenated, Ocasio Cortez. She's a, a congresswoman from yeah. New York, and uh, she's very controversial. And also, what's interesting is, is watching uh, how the media is is uh, going around her and different conversations about her. She's very dynamic and is on the scene and will be more um, here locally. Though she's there, and I, I, again, it's not that I don't want to talk about that. Level. I want to talk about first okay. the women here and how it relates because our audience is local. And so I'm thinking that your insights into what's you seeing the, the now this council has voted up and down a number of directors that were recommended by the mayor who had appointed a committee. And some would say, well, who's on that committee? How is that representative of all the factions that somehow are and then are they the ones? Look who they chose, and then there are recommendations. And so, with our local culture, bringing it back down to, like you say, a guy like Ron Fogel, we all talk about that stuff, but this is a hands on guy helping people in the real time world. So, that's why I'm bringing this down again. That's what I'm trying to get to. Well, I, there's, there's, there's several things here. Uh, what, that I that I that I personally uh, observe because I, I uh, ride my bike uh, all along the beaches, and there's a lot of homeless people here in Maui, and the you know obviously what we need uh, for homeless people is homes, <laughs> and what a concept <laughs> you know and <coughs> excuse me and uh, so so that's one thing but the the, the really heavy thing that I would like to bring up is the need for people to be able to have uh, bed and breakfast or Airbnb or whatever it is without having the hotels throw them in jail for uh, trying to run a little business or have some money in their retirement. What you've got to do, uh, you know, that is so important and it seems like there's a grip of these p huge hotel uh, and tourist industry people that have uh, uh, get the people they want elected and put on boards and uh, every place else. Yeah. It isn't the government that does it. It's the government that should be a servant of we the people that do things that the government says we can help make that happen easier. Yes, I'd like to tell you about a, a, a government that did that. Now, I'll tell you, I'll okay. tell, I'll tell you who the governor who who instituted it later. Because, but what happened is there was this country, beautiful country, okay. very much like Maui beautiful country and um, 
there were lots of homeless people. It was under, uh, you know, the mafia rule. A guy named Batista was ruling this country. And uh, the revolution threw him out, and uh, Fidel uh, Castro gathered together all those who had no homes. And he got groups of 500 or 100, and then he gave them all the government's resources of how to build things, uh, uh, how to use tools. And these people built their own place with government help and lived in it. And everybody, there's no more homelessness in Cuba. And of course, he, you know, it's a dictator. That, that's junk. You don't have to do it with dictator. But the principle is give people the opportunity to build their own homes, the expertise the government can provide, and let them build their homes that they live in, that they take pride in. And, and the answer is yes. As a portion of, in the society, we have now got so many people that I want to say they've lost the skill set because they've internalized into these computers and all kinds of things that have made them less. There should be housing everywhere. There should be solutions everywhere easily. I know you've been a big uh, proponent of that and have been aggressive in trying to help expand the perception of, of uh, help and homes. I've seen guys take pallets, four pallets, create, he calls them kibbutz boxes. He had 38 people living in a lot next to the Salvation Army in Kihei, 38 people. And the fact is, we need to solve these problems, and the solutions are there, but rules and laws and things need to be addressed and also declare emergency so we can do things. All I'm saying is, we, the people, can do things and then if the government gets around to it, they tell us, oh, we have funds here, and it's not being allocated, and you've got 48 forms. That's second. We are the people. We, us, you, me. That's right. And to me, that's it. And that's what I see in you. You were talking outside about weight and it's calories in, calories out. <laughs> you know? Bicycle riding, did it take you, did you have to get through a wall? Oh, no, I've been doing this since I was a, a, a very small child. What about someone like me? Like I say, I want to lose 10 or 20 pounds. <clears throat> oh, it's really easy. Oh, the, the, the first thing you do is you weigh yourself in the morning the same time before you eat so that you can monitor your progress. Right, you, you have a consistent measuring. Thing. And then you, uh, you, and okay, and I... It's my practice uh, to be outside at least three hours a day, rain or shine. That's part of my health practice. And to sing out loud and things like that. And also to uh, honor my contact and withdrawal with other people. And so it's a meditative state uh, to withdraw from other people and ride in beautiful Maui. And when you're on your bike, you can see all the beautiful landscaping that people have done. You can stop whenever you want. Uh, it's wonderful. Um, uh, it's easy to be healthy. It really is. I do yoga every morning. I study with Gary Kraft. So, and uh, what, what uh, Vinny Yoga comes down to is, what does your body need? Learn to listen to it, and it'll show you what to do next. And uh, you know, and and then as far as eating, my gosh, grow your own stuff. Anything processed is is uh, got losing stuff, and it's got weird stuff added. Grow as much as you can, and. Uh, uh, get enough sleep and make love frequently well uh, not in any specific order we'll save the make love for a second <laughs> sentence but in this first sentence when you're talking about grow your own you now see a 41,000 acre parcel um, and it's now has a new owner um, we all can grow our own it's important for everybody to realize that I mean uh, again other day technology we'll talk about HHO hydrogen it's almost like superfood no pesticide no fertilizer take water create gas and plasma form of something that makes your plants grow better also stops your cancer 170 known diseases all these things that are here and available that in our universe, if we only are now aware of them, we have resources beyond anyone's understanding right now here on that all these problems are all solvable. And that's why I want to be an example place to the world because we've been blessed to be on Maui and someone like yourself and just what you were just speaking about, you know, it all goes together. Some people sometimes hear me speaking just like you, I can see already. 
uh, you know, uh, I tied together the Egyptians and the Anunnaki and the roadside service and a hot dog and a Hawaiian and a because it all is a part of a one thing here that is much greater. You know, the word matrix, you know, has glitz to it because of those movies also. Yeah. But it is an alignment piece. I, I would say that, you know, take the adversity that you see in the suffering around you, not as a, no, a cause to be depressed, but as a challenge. Uh, you're, when, you, when you see what's junk, it motivates you to uh, alleviate that. That's a great point. When you see junk, you don't say, it's junk. Why don't you fix it? Well, wait. You're there, too, in this game. You can be part of a solution. Right. We have the metagene. That's why the other species are so interested in us. We can invent things in the situations that we need. We can see what other uh, creatures and civilizations are doing, and even if we don't know how to do it yet, we can figure it out. We can work collectively, and we have great brain power. We are special, and we don't have to be inferior to anybody or anything. Just give us the tools, and our intellects will uh, collectively deal with it. Well, see now, in a very roundabout way, I hope our audience feels our Dr. Sasha Lesson just answered my question when I said, how does that all relate to what is now and what is here locally? Because locally, all the things that you're talking about in terms of position boil about the, the uh, macrocosm and the microcosm. Right near, those things are impacting what is happening, what can happen. The potential for change and positive and growing and and uh, to address the Airbnb and address the homelessness and get our mayor and council to be aligned and for them to be aligned with us. You know, I always talked, I want to be a special agent appointed by the county mayor or council, but mayor, and be able to do things that don't fit in a government matrix, but put pieces together and ideas together so that things that can fit together can happen concurrently to government with a plan. And, you know, and uh, anyway, I can see we're going to have a lot more conversation. I hope you'll come back on another sure, show. Sure. This show is almost gone. Can you imagine that? We're sitting here talking, and I'm sure there's lots of things that you would still like to say. Um, I can tell you that you've been a wonderful guest. Thank you, Sasha, for taking the time to be here. Oh, it's, my uh, pleasure. You know, when you we saved about the make more love making for the end, but uh, we only have a maybe a minute. But with all the things, whether it's making love through physical act, the act of making love, especially in the idea of a matrix, we can all love and be gentle and supportive of each other in in so many ways that don't cause controversy in our you know exciting scintillating those have their places in love but to me the purity of love means really help and love it's it's a reflection of yourself you said it earlier but uh, 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 holotropic you know all this is uh, you know very interesting world we live in and the more you know and understand as I see you do, the more interesting it becomes. And the people th have addressed me as angry when, in fact, I'm just frustrated. But I can see in you, I don't know if you're always like this, but your delivery is wonderful and warm. We only got 30 seconds. I, I know we're just going to have a quick uh, goodbye. It's a pleasure to have. I hope you'll come back and join us. For here. sure. Thank you. This has been a pleasure. I hope you guys have had fun. It's the Neutral Zone. Come back next week and we will see you. It has been a pleasure to have you with us. This has been Dr. Sasha Lesson and Jason Schwartz. Aloha. Hi, I'm Chuck Sauce, host of Biscuits and Gravy. KKU is a listener-supported station. This means that all of the great programs you hear, like mine, are supported by you as well as our underwriters. If you would like to help keep the voice of Maui talking loud and clear, go to kakufm.org slash donate today and give. Don't miss the Biscuits and Gravy Show, Wednesdays at 11 a.m., 88.5 KKU. Have you or someone you know been diagnosed with cancer? According to American...